What is up everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is the return of Scarlet Nexus and the song is called Dream in Drive. Opening song, requested by Sflot over on Patreon, thank you. This is the return of Scarlet Nexus. I've only done one song and that song was incredible. That was a while ago. This one, from what I'm being told, is that this is both the opening of the game slash anime. I could be wrong about that. But either way, it's kind of a short one. I think it's a full band. I forgot what band. The Oral Cigarettes. Nice. And this is from the channel Sudden Zero Death Gaming. Okay. Dream and Drive from Scarlet Nexus. Japanese within the title is in English. Pick up. I like the drums. The drums are really cool. Yeah, it feels like the last line is in English. It's catchy though. Oh, bridge. I predict a keyboard solo. Heavy filter on. cigarettes it's kind of like a redundant statement like where else are you gonna ah, never mind it's not important <laughs> so off the bat within the first like five seconds of the song i kind of had a feeling and i was right and i was just seeing if it was going to play out that way and it did and songs like this have a very like almost very predictable formula 
it's a very, for lack of a better word, kind of like a cliche way of writing um, for this kind of style of song. To me, it sounds very like promotional, very advertisement type of song, like a commercial. In this case, it's the opening song. So I could see that maybe like a, a song or like a video playing or something like that. And this has nothing to do with the artist per se. It has nothing to do with them. But I typically just don't listen to music like that. Because of that, it sounds... I feel like a lot of songs sound like that. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, one game came to mind when I was hearing this, and that was The World Ends With You. I also got that same sort of feeling. Although that one was standard out a little bit more, but it also had that same sort of like almost radio type of feel. Um, and there's two reasons why this is like not my cup of tea per se. One is I don't like with anything in life. I don't like predicting what's coming up in a way. I kind of like the whole, ah, ooh. But that's just me. I know, I think even most people in the world kind of want the idea of what's to come and you know, they just have that like blanket of comfort of knowing what's coming. So that combined with one major factor, and that major factor is the bar was set so high from the beginning. And now the whole game is seems very interesting. This is, I guess, both a game and anime. It definitely sounds like an anime for sure. Um, but the song I heard in game was totally different, completely different, very memorable and very, oh my God, wow. Whereas this one, I feel like as soon as I click off, I cannot tell you anything about it besides the, the name of the song because I said it. And also, that was another thing I couldn't understand what they were saying, which is never usually a thing I care about. But combine all those things together, and it was just, you know, I, I just didn't land for me, I guess is what I'm saying. But I think the biggest one for me was like, it started off so strong with that other song I heard, something District, I forgot what it was, that I feel like anything other than that song is going to be lower and it i'm pretty sure that this is even like the same they're not even related like the composer is probably different from this this is a separate project strictly for the menu strictly for promo or something like that it doesn't feel like it's representing maybe it could be but i feel like they're totally different entities i don't think the, the music of the game sounds like this per se and it sounds more like what i heard so combine all those things and uh how do I say this without like sounding too too harsh? But it sounded incredibly generic to me. That's that's I'm just being honest. It just sounded incredibly generic. I knew where it was going. Uh, it was catchy, which is always good. It's not like it was bad. That's a different thing. I think people confuse those and then they get mad or you know. Obviously, well for one, I can't like everything that comes my way. There's so many songs. There's so many songs. And I would hope he would want me to be honest and not just be like, yeah, to everything. I can't like everything. But that's different from Bad Song. Bad Song is, damn, this sucks. <laughs> Which, I don't even know if I've said that yet. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I have. But it's just more of like, okay, you know, great song. But the thing about these kind of songs is that they really hit with a lot of people. And they really love these songs. So it can get kind of controversial in that regard. Then again, it's a, an opinion-based channel. This is my opinion. It's a, a reaction, but it's my opinion as well. So it's not correct. It's not incorrect. <laughs> and yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just incredibly generic. Uh, you know, shout out to the band who are clearly talented or know what they're doing. More successful than I. But yeah, uh, hearing the first song, not understanding what they're saying, predicting where it was going to go. Um, the only thing really going for it was the drums, which sounded amazing, and then the, it was catchy. Yeah, I'm just 
you know, not my cup of tea, but cool nonetheless. Dream and Drive. I'm going to say this more represents the anime, but we'll see. I've only heard now two songs relating to this media, but that first one that I heard was insane. Anywho, <laughs> that is that. Uh, yeah, let me know more. Let me know more about Scarlet Nexus and the Oral Cigarettes if you know more about them. No thing against them whatsoever. Thank you to you for watching. Thanks for Sflot for the request. Thanks to everyone that you see here. I cannot be here without them, whether I like the song or not. And my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. Take it easy.